Hey guys, welcome to Clarity Chart Analysis. In this channel, I will be interpreting, analyzing the market structure, telling us our current position on the price market chart, and predicting the next possible move of the market. But first guys, if you're new to this channel and want to make money on both directions of the market, this channel is for you. Please subscribe, like, and put on the notification to be notified anytime I drop a new video. So guys, welcome to the Cosmos USDT price market chart. I already made a video on the market structure. So guys, in this video, I'll be summarizing the market structure. I'll be telling us our current position on the price market chart. If you're on an impulsive phase, a pullback phase, or a ranging phase, and guys, I'll also be using a FIP2, which is customized to premium and discount level. So guys, we'll be knowing if our, we are actually on a premium level or on a discount level. And guys, lastly, I'll be identifying highly probability period I expect price to get to. Then we see a significant reaction. So guys, on our major structure, the most recent break of structure we saw on our major structure was a break of structure to the downside. Guys, remember in our previous video, after every break of structure, we should expect a pullback. So guys, we just saw a break of structure and we're expecting a pullback. Let's have it in mind that currently price is trading between this higher high and this lower low. So guys, are we actually on a pullback phase or are we still on a impulsive phase? Guys, if we look at this, we're on a pullback phase because this swing that gives us this lower low, price has pulled back above it. So guys, in summary, the Cosmo USDT price market chart on our daily time frame, which is our major structure, is on an impulsive phase. So guys, this is the FIP2 I mentioned earlier. The FIP2 is customized into discount and premium level. The upper part is my premium level and the lower part is my discount level. Let's see this scenario. Anytime you're buying a commodity, you love to buy it on discount prices. So you can sell it on premium prices to make profit. So guys, now currently now we just saw a break of structure to the downside. We're expecting price to pull back to our premium level before we continue shutting the market and breaking more structure to the downside. But currently now, price has pulled back to the premium level. And guys, do you think from this point, price will continue breaking more structure to the downside? Or price will have to come back, retest this supply zone before we continue breaking more structure to the downside. So guys, let's move to a lower time frame. Let's go do the same analysis on our minor structure, which is our four hours time frame. So guys, on our minor structure, the most recent break of structure we saw was a break of structure to the upside. Guys, we're expecting a pullback. Sure, we've seen price pullback, but guys, remember that on our major structure, we expect price to pull back to this premium. Price actually came back to the premium before, before continue breaking more structure to the downside. And on our major structure now, guys, remember that the major structure actually controls the market. So guys, do you think from this point price is trading, price will have to pull back to this premium level before seeing more break of structure to the downside, meaning price will have to break this IRI on our minor structure. So guys, this is a FIP tool on our minor structure because now currently our minor structure is trading between this IRI and this lower low. So guys, on our minor structure, we just saw price broke structure to the upside. We expect price to get back to the discount level. And price have even gotten to the discount level. But guys, remember that on our major structure, because the major structure actually controls the market. The major structure, we just saw a break of structure to the downside. So now, guys, for us to be more comfortable short in this market, I expect price to come back, break this IRI structure of the minor structure, and come back to this premium level of the major structure. From there, you cannot short the market comfortably. So guys, I already identify our highly probability PIs on our minor structure. So guys, from this point, price is trading. Using our measurement tool, for price to come back to this major demand zone, that shows price will have to lose about 45% from this point price is trading. Meaning price will have to go back to about $5.5. And from this point price is trading, for price to come back to this our major supply zone, Price have to go up about 345%. That's it. That is, price will have to go back to about 44.5. If price is already coming back to this, giving us about 350%, then we should be sure that, guys, we're already on the bull run. So, guys, I've already identified our highly probability PIs. This both demand zone on our discount level. These three supply zones are on our premium level. So, guys, drop your thoughts in the comment section. What do you think? Do you think price will have to come back to all these supply zones first before continuing break of structure?
to the downside or do you think from this point price is trading price will have to go back to this demand zone either demand zone two or the major demand zone before continuous in break of structure to the upside but guys let's not forget that the, on our major structure we just saw a break of structure to the downside so guys currently now we should be expecting more break of structure to the downside thank you guys for watching this video